Cindy from Studio Lou. I just wanted to do a quick flip through today of my two traveler's notebooks that I made with the Wishes and Weeds um, map to make a traveler's notebook. So these are both for myself. They're going to be used on my camping trips in 2021. So I have two trips, so two notebooks. So let's just open them up and do a little flip through just so I can show you how fun they are. So the first one, um, so that the covers are made from collaged. You could use two business envelopes. I used um, envelopes on one and something else on the other, like a piece of cardstock in one envelope because I didn't have two envelopes. This one is slightly larger than this one um, because I just didn't cut it all the way down. I don't know why. I'm happy with it as it is. Um, so let's just um, flip this over here. So on the front, you make a pocket. Um, the brief was to put it at the top, but in this one, I didn't want to lo lose my owl friend here. So I put him up here. There's some nice fabric on this pocket and it's like, um, it was woven papers and it's been stitched all over. And then this was just um, a little packaging envelope from some stamps that I got. And I just put a piece of simple scrapbook paper inside it and I lined the back with cardstock for writing on. And that just pops in there. And there's eyelets um, in the closures. So the inside was fun. We have this side tuck pocket that's collaged and a little fussy cut of these two geese that you cut in half so that it's still functional. Um, the pocket is still functional, but you still have the image there. And then I just stuck a tag that I collaged um, right on in here, made from a book page. <laughs> and then on this side, we used a vintage photo to make a bottom tuck pocket and it's on ledger paper. And then this is a collaged tag that we made. Um, and then it would put a piece of lace up top. I just used this little piece of like a vintage doily. And then you sew a little sturdy card on as another tuck spot on your tag. And I used a vintage CB card with chipmunks on it um, as my, um, my piece of ephemera. And that just tucks right on in there. Then on this side is um, a paper cluster with a fussy cut on top. That's a Kate Greenaway image. And then this is just a book page um, of like some architecture and it has a little um, lace fabric button tab at the bottom and a little uh, fabric collage. And this is coffee dyed uh, lace paper. And then on the top here we have um, some background of just some nice paper and this is like a vintage cut out of um, like a newspaper from 1955 trout season and this is um, just a bot botanical poison plant uh, card that I had left over from my poison plant journals and a fun book page. And then this was a book page that you left long so you could flip it up to make a couple pockets on each side. And we stuffed them with some vintage ephemera. This is a original old photo of this cute little boy and his dog and a little vintage book page. And on this side, we clipped on a, pin, a piece of vintage ephemera. And this is the back of a really old booklet um, that I had. Um, it was actually like a poultry, like a poultry uh, sort of ledger um, where like these people who owned this farm, they kind of wrote all of their... Um, their sort of incoming and outgoing expenses. And it's from like the 19... I want to say like early 1900s. I can't for I can't remember what year. Maybe 1945. There we go. So this is just some scrapbook paper that I tea dyed, and that just paper clips on the side. And then on this side we have a little um, pocket that's been collaged on ledger paper and a collage tag. This is actually woven paper scraps and sewing on top. And then this was, um, we were supposed to use like a vintage greeting card, but I couldn't find the vintage greeting card that I had planned for this. So I just used a children's book page and folded it up. So this is actually a pocket. I have to actually put something in here. Um, and then we have a little collage at the bottom with buttons and fabric. 
And then this was a fun like upper tuck pocket. Um, the brief was to use like a business envelope, but I didn't have one on hand. So I used this nice kind of rugged paper. Um, and then I just used a piece of scrapbook paper and some trim, uh, stitched the pocket. And then you do like a fabric and lace um, collage up top with a safety pin. And I put some iridescent sequins on it. So I'll just move back to the center here. And then inside here, um, I put this stereograph um, image. It's um, from, let me see if there's a year on it. Night, um, it says copyright 1897 by Stronmeyer and Wyman. So yeah. Barney's Blarney and it's just like a man and a woman and um, they're sort of being like a little sarcastic like she's showing him her spinning wheel like she's spinning some wool and he's kind of looking at her like oh like <laughs> no, they're being silly it's kind of cute and that just tucks right up on in here and then some stenciling on this page and this is cabbage dyed uh, graph paper and it has a nice lace tab on the side and then this page, oh, I still have my note there. <laughs> um, you were to use a coloring book page and um, we paper clip on a piece of vintage ephemera. This is an old postcard. And this is from um, like an early like um, 70s weaving studio. Um, she would get these kind of cards from the companies that she would buy yarn from check out their samples basically coloring book page and then um, this is like from a book about Victorian creations and it's got this tip out here and I washi taped the edge um, this is a jelly print washi taped the edge as well um, and then this is a children's book page that has um, like a actually like a felted wool and silk tab that I've sewn on top and washing the back as well, just for extra security. Um, and then here we have sort of a lot going on. So this flips out, then we have a pocket down here um, that's made from scrapbook paper. It's, it's got a little thumb hole, the corner is rounded, and inside is a vintage um, image of um, this fish. So this is from a collection of photographs from a photographer who worked in like the 1930s through 50s. And he was like this amazing underwater photographer. I got it at a local antique store. Um, and then this is like a little envelope from the Curtis Fair in Michigan. And um, it's a tuck under. It has this little stamp that I attached to it. And I just stuck a couple of little circles here up in here so that I could write on those. Um, and then this is like a botanical page and on the back is coffee dyed paper with lace, like a lacy uh, image um, from the coffee. Like you basically press um, like a, a plastic tablecloth that has this printing and that's how you get that kind of image. And then this is a lace pocket here to put something inside of. And then at the center, I used the Edith Holden um, book page, and this has two little eyelet holes in it, and it's just a coffee dyed paper tab with uh, some yarn tied through for a little bow. This is a five-hole um, five pamphlet stitch. And on this page, it's more of the coffee dyed paper. And then we were to uh, paper clip two pieces of ephemera. I used this, um, it's a greeting card and an old um, uh, tin type image postcard. Let's just paper clip on another botanical page and then on this page we did some stamping on the back then we attached this envelope pocket with another pocket made from fabric on front so this is actually like a vintage um, camera store kind of envelope that you would get like your negatives and your photos in you would put your you know your information there and then in this pocket is this amazing old photograph that I got from a local antique store of like this mother, probably mother and son, um, in a city somewhere in Europe, um, 
and a bunch of pigeons have landed all over their shoulders and their heads. And it's like the boy's holding like a little cup of something that a pigeon is eating out of. There's tons of pigeons in the background. And I just thought it was so cute. Um, I can't tell what the what the date is. There's a lot of numbers on the back, but I'm not sure if any of them are actually a date. Then on the inside, I just put this cool old vintage. Um, this is a CB card. Um for CB radio and then this is a jelly print and this is the other side of that Victorian invention book page and I did a little button lace fabric tab at the bottom coloring book page and then this is more cabbage dye graph paper and we sewed a ruffle with lace down the side and added this little um, bulb pin with this little star charm and then on this side, we used a couple of things. So you could use any kind of like a cool or vintage piece of paper and just stick it down and over the corner just to add interest. I used a Return to Oz Tops um, trading card packet because I love the movie. I love this vintage like look. I love these old trading cards and I just thought it would be a nice memento to keep in there. And I was like, what else am I going to use this for? I've been hoarding this forever. And then I used a little plain card at the bottom and inside is um, a postcard that I just uh, rounded the corners and inked up and this is a vintage um, image of this lovely young girl holding a bunch of flowers um, I can't tell the date not sure but yeah it's it's old <laughs> it's from an antique store and then on this side is the other, um, this is the, the card or book page pocket card that I made out of a book page because I didn't have a vintage card. And this is actually a pocket that opens. You can stick something into it. I just haven't yet. And this is a piece of ledger with a lace fabric tab, coffee dyed paper with a lace fabric and button tab. Um, and then on this side, it's that long page again that we folded the pocket on the bottom and we put a vintage document in. This is, um, a note about like a yarn order that, um, it's from 1971. And this is a tag that I made with this, um, vintage magazine ad for the Hoover vacuum. And that goes in there another book page and then a lace bottom pocket and a collaged tag that I made in my making house tags video series. Then this is uh, more of my coffee dyed lace paper in the background and it tips out on this side. And then here we have um, the rest of that long architectural uh, book page and we put a tab on top and a tip in. And last page we paper clipped this lovely old vintage photo of like these sort of two, three women and a man, um, all kind of like joking around sitting on a blanket somewhere. They look kind of like flappers. So it's an old photo. And then on the back, there's this um, vintage gift wrap pocket with this tag that I made on top. And then I made a tag out of like one of those alphabetical card like um, file folders. That just goes in there. And then the back has been collaged as well with some like children's drawings that I, um, I like how it says October 21. It's like October, but little kid style. And I use this little book page to make a little card uh, tuck at the bottom. So that is that one. And I don't have all the pockets filled, but it's kind of with intention because I figure during my camping trips, maybe I will pick up like a flyer from a nature pre preserve or maybe like a takeout menu from somewhere that we might order some food or, you know, something like that. Um, the kind of activities that we can do by then, depending on what things are like and how far along we are and being vaccinated by that time. So then the next one, I'll show that one to you quickly. It's kind of the same brief, so I'll go through it. It's a little bit different, different things, obviously, different ephemera, lots of different things about it. Um, so the pocket here is made from the cover of a bird field guide and some ribbon at the bottom. And then this is packaging from some stamps that I got and a piece of coffee dyed scrapbook paper that just pops in there. There we go. 
Um, and then on the back, again, we have this tab pocket. And this time for my fussy cut, um, I used this lady on a horse. It's another um, Kate Greenaway drawing. And then this is actually um, a clear window from a pocket envelope. And I put a Rupee Cower poem in here that says, despite knowing they won't be here for long, they still chose to live their brightest lives, sunflowers. So I thought that was a little nice and inspiring. And then I put a little certificate in here. Then on this side, um, a vintage photo pocket of this cute little boy standing outside in his little outfit with his little bow tie. I thought that was adorable. It's like an old 50s photo. And this is on ledger paper. Um, this is vintage ledger paper. And then um, the tag that I made is collage and it has some shiny sequins and a brad up top. And then this is the card that I used. It's this little, the gospel of despair, little book page. And then in here is, um, the, the CB radio vintage card. And I just tucked that in there for some extra ephemera to write on. And on this side, um, it's this cute little vintage, um, straw paper image of like a jack-o'-lantern, straw man um, or scarecrow and it has a paper cluster behind it and this is a book page uh, with a little button and fabric tab at the bottom and coffee dyed lace paper with a little um, collage of um, lace fabric and crochet and then on this side, it's actually the other half of the same pocket that you saw the last journal. Um, it's the 1955 trout fishing um, newspaper <laughs> and some washi tape and scrapbook paper. And then this is um, a journaling card um, from the Poison Plants book. It was my extra ephemera that I had made. And this lovely book page. And on this side, we folded up the pocket. And this is a vintage wedding photo from 1956 this cute super cute couple and this little um, lamb this is a vintage children's book image a 1930s book and on this side um, it's coffee dyed um, scrapbook paper and we were to attach a vintage um, document so I had this vintage document of Argyle socks pattern it's a knitting pattern so I decided that would be a fun thing to look at And then on this side, we have the a greeting card, um, a vintage greeting card from Easter. It says, an Easter time hello. It has these little cats and pussy willows and this little girl. And at the bottom is like a lace um, and button collage. And then inside the pocket of this one, I just stuck this little journaling card of these little ducks from a children's book. Um, I just wanted to put something in there to show... Um, that these actually are pockets because the other one I left empty because I'm going to put ephemera in it during my trip probably and on the back it has this cute little girl she's like a little fairy putting a flower cap on a kitty cat who's sitting on pussy willows doesn't get any cuter than that and then this is a little collage pocket on vintage ledger paper with this tag inside that I collaged I think that was also part of my house making house tag series um, and then on this side we have this fun um, paper it's handmade paper and this time um, I stuck down it's actually a battleship uh, game paper game and then um, this time I just realized I said this this page in upside down because the card is upside down but I guess it doesn't really matter that's probably why I got to a spot in here and I'm like this doesn't look like the right page so yeah I I needed to shift that upside down I wonder what the other side looks like anyways it doesn't matter it's it's a playing card whatever um so this is um actually an envelope it's an old mailing envelope and has this super cute picture of this little baby in there with this dog and some lovely tulips in the background. It's from 1955. And then this is a postcard of like a little picnic scene. That's so funny that I sewed a page it upside down. <laughs> um, and then this is coffee dyed paper with this lace uh, tab. I would only do that on my own project, of course. 
And then um, this is a coloring book page and some vintage ephemera. So this cutie pie and the little overalls. It's like another 1950s photograph. And then this is a 1979 Ontario hand weavers and spinners, the cover and the sample weaving from their newsletter from March of 1979. So I have been um, fortunate enough that I inherited a, um, a weaver's um, entire like weaving estate basically so lots of old books and stuff coloring book page a tip out book page some nice like botanicals and birds and then um, this is a jelly print and on this side we have a vintage children's book page um, it's a little crumbly I should washi tape that <laughs> um, maybe I'll do that right now why not um, and it is so cute. It's this little bunny and a bee and some pansies here that I'm probably going to cover a little with washi tape, but I just don't want that page to crackle. It's an old, old book. Um, and I've put some um, felted silken wool and some wool locks at the top. And then on this side, we have the bunny again. No, oh, that's better. Let's give it a little more handle. It was such an old book. Um, and then I've hinged it on with the same jelly paper. Then there's a pocket here made with this black and white um, paper and inside just a piece of scrapbook paper and some stenciling underneath. So that tucks in there. Then this is the label from a stamp that I have. Um, and I used it to make an upper, like a tuck under and put these two little pieces of circular paper in there. Um, and then this is botanical paper and on the back we have cabbage dyed paper with um, a purple lace pocket and then a tag that I collage to go in there and this is an Edith Holden page beautiful with the bees and the thistles paper tab with two eyelets and some hand spun yarn tied through it and then this is cabbage dyed paper and paper clipped on. We have two pieces of vintage ephemera. So one is this happy Valentine's Day Valentine's card. And this is just an old image of Francis Clements um, from Arthur, Ontario. And that was purchased at a local antique store. It's just a cabinet card. A botanical page and then this little pocket at the bottom was made from like a postage postcard and it has a label that I made that says like nothing else in the world and some little lace at the bottom and then this is a vintage CB card this one's from Oshawa Ontario jelly print book page with botanicals and a fabric and lace tab coloring book page and then this is coffee dyed paper with some lace it's um on top of this nice map fabric ruffle and a little cog on a bulb pin and then this is a pocket made from scrapbook paper with some nice lace at top and a little um, collage at the bottom with a safety pin with little beads. And this is the one that was the other side that was upside down. It should actually be at the top, but that's totally fine. <laughs> so inside there, I put my little spring zine that I made um, as part of my story camp disco challenge. So I thought that would be a nice little thing to have in there to use uh, to look at during my trip. And then... Um, this is just an old QSL Club uh, South Dakota certificate, whatever QSL cards are. I have no idea. It was like some piece of vintage ephemera. And then um, this has been stenciled. This is vintage ledger that's been written on at the top. And we have a tab. And then this is the other side of that um, vintage um Easter card and inside I just popped this it's um some um ginkgo leaves that I uh foraged and dried and made this specimen tag out of and then here we have a little um sewn on lace fabric tab with a button and that's coffee dyed scrapbook paper and then this is my little tuck pocket from the book page and a, uh, a tag that I made that's been collaged and inside is a vintage document this is from the village weaver and it's a price list of all different yarns and it's blank on back book page and then a lace pocket with um, cabbage dyed lace paper underneath and then this is a tag that I made 
I think it was also part of my house series tags. And a little tip out. And then a little fabric collage up top of this book page and another tip out. And then the back page has paper clipped on this cute image of this, like probably a flower farmer, him and his wife, uh, probably both farmers. And they are behind a, looks like a bunch of, um, I'm trying to remember the name of those flowers, the big tall ones that grow those beautiful flowers. I forget. And then this is just a scrapbook paper or vintage wallpaper um, pocket actually. And it has this little tag that this little label that I made that says while the wind howled and it was kind of mucked up. So I decided to use it for myself. And this is just a tag that I made from an alphabetical like card, like a folder card. And then this is um, a card of the, this is a card that I made out of a field guide of the, the gannet because I was thinking about my trip to Newfoundland and how I got to see all the northern gannets that live over there. Um, they have like a big rock that they all live on that they migrate to and it's a really cool memory. So I got to include a bit of memories in that book and that was really fun. So yeah, this is a, a nice journal. I'm really stoked to have these. It's kind of making me really excited to be able to go on our, our camping trips and I'm so ready for a break. <laughs> Definitely ready. So thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure with these journals. I'll probably make some more Traveler's Notebooks for the shop. Maybe not this particular map, but this size and this kind of like feel, you know, lots of collaging and having fun with things. Um, I used to just make much smaller ones, but I think I actually quite like this, this more standard size of eight and a quarter by four and three eighths. It's a nice like handheld size. So thank you again for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe. All my social media information is down below in the um, description box. Thanks again. Bye.